Hey guys, Ivan here. So, at about 15, 16 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, Michal Krizo announced his plans and he's planning on competing at the Mr. Olympia this year. I'm gonna show you a video where he announces it in a second, but First, if you guys didn't know, if you weren't sure, he actually says in this video that he's six foot one. So he's actually a taller guy. He's one inch shorter than Andrew Jack, and his current weight right now is 293. So he's of course dieting, he's gonna go down in weight, he's not gonna be 293 on stage, but considering how lean he is right now, he's probably not gonna go too low with weight. And also Milos Charter said that when Mikhail Krizo was doing his US tour, when he was posing all over the US, he was actually off of gear and he was still really freaking big and still very lean, very hard. So now I'm guessing as he's prepping, he's going to introduce more and more compounds that uh, bodybuilders usually use when they're prepping when they're finishing their preps so his weight is probably gonna stay very high i don't think he's gonna compete at around 290 but probably not lower than 270 maybe even up to 280 be my guest tell me what do you think but he does look great right now anyways let me show you what he says about his plans for competing this year what are your competition plans where do we see you next time the pro qualifier will be Olympia Amateur, I think that's the 8th, 9th, 10th of October. Then right after that, considering I get the pro card, there's EVLS Proc Pro, which is the last week of October. And if I manage to win there, which would be absolutely amazing, I would go to the Olympia this year. What if it doesn't work out this way? Not a big deal. Will you try to qualify for this year's Olympia elsewhere? Yes, there is another contest to qualify in Romania, but that will unfold only after the Prague show. If I ended up like 7th or 8th in Prague, there would be no point in going to Romania. Alright, so you heard the man, his plan is to compete at the Mr. Olympia Amateur where he will win that pro card, I'm saying will, because it's actually ridiculous that he needs to compete against the amateurs, poor amateurs, I feel sorry for those guys, he's going to crush them, demolish them, Mikhail Krizo is better than 90% of all the IVB pros in IVB Pro League, and now he needs to compete against amateurs, but I guess those are the rules, it is what it is, so he's going to win that pro card there easily, then he's gonna do the EVLS Prague Pro, which he might win, I don't know who else is gonna compete over over there, are there gonna be any top pros that wanna go to Czech Republic and compete in Prague Pro? I don't know, I doubt that. And you guys know that since Michal Krizo decided to compete in the IBB Pro League or MPC, he was immediately sponsored by the EVLS and he's doing their show, Prague Pro. So I don't know how much can that affect his placement. Are the judges gonna just judge the way they see it or are they gonna let him win no matter what? I mean, I don't know. I don't know how that works, but he says that if he wins that show, he is going to the Mr. Olympia and I think he's most likely going to win that show. Not a lot of top American IBB pros actually go to Prague, to Europe to compete. So I don't think he's gonna have a tough competition. I think he's going to win that Prague Pro pretty easily as well. And you guys know that guys like Jay Cutler, like Steve Weinberger, like Milo Šalčev are saying that this guy is a real deal, that he's actually really that good. And they said the same thing about Andrew Jack, and look at what Andrew did. So I'm expecting kind of similar thing from Michal Krizo this year. I think he is pretty easily going to win that Prague Pro and qualify for the Mr. Olympia. He says that even if he doesn't manage, he still has a chance at Romania Pro. So he's going to do those two shows in case he fails in Prague. But I don't think he's going to fail. I think he's going to win Prague Pro. And I believe, I honestly believe, we will see Michal Krizo at the Mr. Olympia this year against the, all the top pros and this just makes Mr. Olympia so much more exciting. What is happening, guys? This year's Mr. Olympia is going to be probably the best Mr. Olympia of all time. If you guys are looking for a really high quality protein powder, I think you can't really do much better than old school labs vintage brawn. 
So this is basically a combination of egg white protein, beef isolate protein, and also whey protein. It only has one gram of carbs, only one gram per scoop, which is very rare. So it's very, very well isolated. It's it's really lean kind of protein source, and it has a really complete chain of amino acids because it's not only whey. It's a combination of couple protein sources. So guys, if you want to support my channel as well, you can do that by trying this protein out. The link is down below. If you use a code even, you get a 50 percent discount all right next we have brandon harding finally winning his pro card that's right we got a new ivb pro and that's brandon harding he just won the austrian oak competition mpc show in austria and he deserved that victory he actually looked really good at that show he was really conditioned and actually i had a buddy of mine competing in the same show in the same class like brandon who ended up in fourth now this guy is much much bigger than brandon he barely somehow squeaked into classic physique and brandon he had like 20 pounds up to the weight cap he was like much much smaller but with his genetics with his shape he deserved that win so right here in this screenshot you can see brandon on the right and on the left in the middle there uh, second to left actually is that the body of mine uh, the tallest guy here obviously the biggest too but as you can see brandon even though he's smaller he just has that classic shape he has those classic lines and that's why he wins this class and this whole show he won the overall and that's how he got his pro card and yeah, as I said, he had 20 pounds to his weight cap, and I know that because he can weigh around 220 pounds, and this is the latest story that he posted, so he says, my weight this morning was the lowest of prep, crazy low, mind-blowing how much... Uh, the body can change in just a few weeks between shows. So his last update, he was 205. So he lost a lot of weight. And how much could he lose if he didn't want to say what the weight is? So I'm guessing he's even below 200. Everything above 200, including 200, sounds pretty good. But if you say 199, you know, that sounds much, much lower. So he's probably around there, you know, probably around 200. He says he lost a lot of weight last time he was 205. So I'm guessing he was around 200 and he could have been 220 pounds. So even though he wasn't even close to his weight cap, he won the pro card and he won a pretty good show, actually. So now as a pro, he can go all the way up to 230 yeah that's right he can gain 30 freaking pounds of muscle and still stay in the classic physique now that he is a pro so the future of this newly created ivb pro seems very bright his back double was a good pose and yeah he got really conditioned but it is his genetics it is his shape that got him this victory so i talked to this buddy of mine and he said it brandon wasn't really that hard he was kind of soft he was conditioned but kind of soft and he's genetically super super black and that's why he won and after he won his class that body of mine told me that he's probably gonna win overall as he did obviously so he got that pro card and I'm really curious I'm really excited to see what the future is gonna bring what this guy is gonna look like when or if he eventually gets all the way up to 230 that's gonna be an impressive package could that be a potentially top six Olympia package could be maybe what do you guys think tell me down below all right, next we got a very interesting guest posing pose down. So we got these three guys from three different divisions. On the left, you have Ahmed Verdani, the 212 guy. Then in the middle, of course, you have Mohamed Shaban, an open guy. And on the right, as you can see, there is Brian Ainsley, a classic physique competitor or future, actually former as well, 212 competitors so brian basically said that he wants to do the classic uh, physique this year he wants to do the arnold classic uk actually and then the olympia and uh, as far as his 212 future he said that next year he's uh, probably gonna do the 212 he wants to try it and right now in this lineup against these guys he's holding his own until they turn around and muhammad shows why he's an open pro because of those freaking legs so this guy has a really enormous legs i mean he's big everywhere he's definitely much bigger than brion but honestly i will i was surprised i thought brion would look much smaller against these guys especially next to muhammad but he was still holding his own but not in the legs not in the legs muhammad has enormous legs of course he's bigger everywhere i mean arms shoulders chest back too but the difference was bigger from the front especially in the legs 
Check this out again, so back, Brion has a really good back, and also his glutes are looking in right here, from behind, so as you can see, it's not that big of a difference. Also, Brion is out angling Muhammad, and he's closer to the camera, so they're actually looking very comparable, these two guys, in the back poses. You'll see in the back lat spread, similar thing, so obviously Muhammad Shaban doesn't have a super impressive back. And Brion is known for having a really good back. Now when they turn around, it, this is lights out. Look at the legs. <laughs> Once again, take a look at the legs. Take a look at this freaking difference. He completely destroyed him. So yeah, that, that's probably why Mohamed Javan is doing the open. If he had no legs, he would probably do the 212 because he's also a shorter guy. Yeah, again, he's bigger upstairs too, but his legs are out of this world. I, I'm wondering why all these Egyptians like Big Ram, like Hassan Mustafa and Mohamed here too, have these crazy legs, do you guys think they might be doing the same thing, all of them, what that thing could be, what do you think, tell me down below. Alright, next we have something, I found this very interesting, it's Ronnie Coleman, training in the gym, and he's standing, so obviously he's doing better, his spine is uh, doing better, because he's able to stand and do these tricep extensions, and it's interesting that he addressed the public, and basically the people who are wondering why is he still in the gym, why is he still training, so he says, I know that you guys are thinking why that almost 60 year old guy is still working out, he has nothing to prove anymore. Well, I do it because I love it. I do it because it's my hobby and I look forward to doing my hobby every day. Then he goes on and he speaks about fishing because that's also another hobby that he has that he still likes to do. But I thought you guys might be interested in what he has to say about training and also about uh, what he looks like right now because he did his bicep flex at the end of this video. So you can check out what he looks like right now. How, how big is he still? Is he still maintaining some sort of mass or not? whatever you guys think you're seeing you can tell me down below in the comment section but apparently he's still active he still goes to the gym and as you can see he's standing after he does this um, set he he approaches the camera and he he does that bicep flex so he's able to walk which is definitely a progress up until recently he was in a wheelchair i'm sure he's not walking all too much but you know still being able to stand and to train that's definitely a good thing that's that's a progress and i'm happy about ronnie that he's still able to get a workout in i mean it's not gonna help him too much i mean he's not gonna get huge all of a sudden but as he says he enjoys it he loves training it's a hobby of his even after being retired for so many years he still likes to do it of course and i support him 100 percent whatever you guys think though tell me down below in the comment section Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna support me, you can subscribe to this channel. It's gonna mean a lot. Thank you so much, guys, for all your support and for watching this video. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.